My name is Rob Rang, and we've got four Pokemon Showground battles for you guys. We've got QOU and Q Ubers. So uh, with this team, uh, the link uh, for the team is in the description. Uh, we've got Zerkatry, Heatran, Meicham, Togekiss, Landris, and Lapras for us. And we're facing a Kangrowth, Milkank, Blissey, Electrode, Odino, and Fortress. So Fortress leads against my Heatran. I immediately go for Flamethrower. He's got Sturgy, we knew that, as he goes for Stealth Rock. He switches out into Blissey. I go for Flamethrower again. I switch out into Meditation God as he goes for Drain Punch. It's resisted. I go for Fake Out. It's a critical hit. And then I go for Low Sweep to finish him off. Tangrowth comes out. I go back into Hephaestus. He goes for Leech Seed and misses. I go for Flamethrower and kill him. Electro comes out. I go into Langerous Theorem. And he goes for Protect, but it fails. Then he goes for Explosion. Does not kill the Langris. I go for Defog. I can't. Now I go for Defog. He goes for Toxic Spikes. I go for Earthquake and kill the Fortress. Odingo comes out. I go into Meditation God, get poisoned, and get Sweet Kissed. I hurt myself in my confusion because of the sweet kiss. He goes for double edge and kills my meditation god. I go into tree of god, get poisoned by the toxic spikes, and go for my Z hypnosis. I go for tail glow. He wakes up, goes for sweet kiss. I get confused. I get hurt by poison. I get hurt by confusion, and he goes for double edge. I get hurt by poison again, my confusion is cured, and I go for Thunderbolt, which kills the Algino. My Beast Boost activates, and I'm at 2%. I kill the Mill Tank with Thunderbolt, and I win the battle. So it wasn't a very hard battle, it was a 5 0, but it was an interesting battle nonetheless. On to the next one. Same team, we're facing an Infernape, Celesquila, Aerodactyl, Scizor, Garchomp, and Cloyster. Celesquila leads, I lead Langris. I go for Hidden Power Ice. He goes for Autonomize. I go into Heatran. He goes for Energy Ball. Not sure why he went for Energy Ball there. I go for Earthquake, he loses 19%. I go into Langris, not, not risking anything, as he goes for Sword Stance. He goes for Sword Stance again. I go for Hidden Power Ice and almost kill. I go into Togekiss as he goes for Crunch. He goes for Crunch again, does not kill. And I go for Ancient Power to get the kill on Garchomp. Infernape comes out. I go into Heatran. He goes for Fake Out. Goes for Mach Punch. I go for Earthquake, almost kill. And I go into Lapras. He goes for all-out pummeling, pummeling, and almost kills Poseidon, activates the weakness policy. I have to switch out because I'm scared of losing Landris, Lapras, so I go into Landris. He goes for Fire Punch, gets hit by the Rocky Helmet, and I go for Earthquake to get the kill. Aerodactyl comes out. He Mega Evolves and goes for Stone Edge. Does a decent amount of damage as I go for Stealth Rock. He then goes for Iron Head. Gets hit by the Rocky Helmet, and I get the flinch. He goes for Dragon Claw to kill the Landris. And then I go into Tree of God. He goes for Earthquake, does not kill. As I go for my Z-Hypnosis, it works, and he falls asleep. He then switches out into Scizor. I go for Tail Glow. He goes for Bullet Punch and kills the Tree of God. Heatran comes out and kills the Scizor with Flamethrower. Then Cloyster comes out. Poseidon comes out. He goes for Shell Smash. Does not have Wygarb, as he goes for Icicle Spear. 
He will get the KO here. Meditation God comes out. I go for Fake Out. Obviously get the flinch. As he goes for Spike Cannon. He does not get the kill. I go for High Jump Kick and get the kill on Cloister. So a Skeela comes out. We get the uh, Speak Drop with Low Sweep. He goes for Autonomize. I go for Low Sweep again. He goes for Air Slash and kills my Meditation God. His Beast Boost activates his special attack. I go for Flamethrower and kill the Celeskeela. Aerodactyl is the last Pokemon left. He's asleep. I go for Flamethrower and get the kill. And that's the end of the game. So it was a 2-0. So not too bad. So a 5-0 and a 2-0 so far. So we are 2-0 with this team. Now, let's go to our Ubers game. We've got... Zero Aura, Marshall, Xerneas, Kyogre, La La Groudon, and Landris. Against the Charizard, Greninja, Necrozma, Mew, Swampert, and Tapu Koko. Mew is being cap uh, held captive by Necrozma, hidden, but he is there. He leads Swampert, I lead Landris. Now hold on a second, hold on a second. Why did I lead Landris? The reason I led Landris is because I knew the Swampert was leading. Now, why would I do that when Swampert is super effective? Well, you see, I don't know. I mean, I could have led Groudon in this situation, um, but I felt he was going to go for a Ground-type attack, so I wanted to lead Landris right off the bat and get the Intimidate off. But I did predict this. I did predict this. Then I go into Groudon. As he goes for Skog, which he can't do. Which is exactly why I led Landris. I go for Earthquake and kill the Swampert. Mew comes out. Mew goes for Earthquake. I go for Stealth Rock. I go into Landris Theorem. Predicting the Earthquake, and I was right. He goes for Dazzling Gleam. I go for Earthquake. He switches out into Greninja. I switch out into Xerneas. Then switch out into Groudon. As he goes for Toxic. Ice Beam. Almost gets the KO, and I go for Earthquake and Kill. I live on 1 HP, and Mew comes out. I switch out, go into Xerneas. He goes for Dazzling Gleam, and that's basically it. There's no way he beats me. It's a Mew, no offense, but like, I don't know why you would involve a Mew in an Uber's battle. I mean, no offense to this player, but there's a reason Mew is not Uber's. He does not have the tank to withstand anything. I go for Flash Cannon again, kill the Tapu Koko. Necrozma comes out. I was kind of scared about this, but then I went for Thunderbolt and it killed. And then it was basically KO after KO from there. And that's it. 6-0. On to the next battle. We've got a Lycanroc, Terracat, Incineroar, Greninja, Zekrom, and Garatina. This was an interesting battle. Garatina leads. I was not expecting that. But this is a good matchup. Because I have Ice Beam. So that that's an automatic kill. They were all level 50 and I didn't realize it. Oh, I should not have uploaded this. Oh well. I was wondering why that did so level. Oh no, it is level 100. Some of them aren't. Crush Claw, and another 
Not a hard battle. Now, for fun, we are actually going to do a live battle to finish off this video. We are actually going to do an OU battle with a team that I haven't played with in a while. This one. Now, I will leave this one in the description, I think. I'm not sure. It depends if I win this battle. If I win this battle, it's in the description. But it's uh, Heat Trang with Choice Specs, Flash Fire, Flash Cannon, Fire Fang, Fire Blast, and Earthquake. Venusaur Mega with Venusaur Eye, Overgrow, Giga Drain, Hidden Power Eye, Sleep Powder, and Sludge Bomb. Medicham Mega with Medicham Eye, Pure Power, Fake Out, High Jump Kick, Low Kick, and Bullet Punch. Tapu Lele with Terrain Extender, Psychic Surge, Dazzling Gleam, Extra Sensory, Moon Blast, and Hidden Power Poison. Rotom Wash with Choice Specs, Levitate, Defog, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, and Volt Switch. Mama Swang with Never Melt Ice, Thick Fat, Earthquake, Freeze Dry, Ice Shard, and Stealth Rock. So we're going with this team. I don't know how well it will do. It's been a while since I've used this team. But fun fact about this team and the reason I'm using it, it's the first time I've ever used Volt Switch on a Rotom. Or Volt Switch in general, actually. So, Trevenant, Greninja, Tapu Koko, Charizard, Landris, and Excelgor. Okay. So, I'd say the Landris will lead. I'm going to lead Tapu Lele. Please Tapu Coco. Okay. So I get my psychic terrain up. I'm going to go for Hidden Power Poison. Because it's super effective. Yeah, he goes into Excelgor. 35% though. Um, I'm going to go into Heatran. Now, there's many things I could do here. I could go for Fire Blast and kill the Excelgor. Or predict the Greninja and go for Earthquake. I don't think he goes into Charizard here. I don't think he predicts the Earthquake. I'm going to go for Earthquake. As he goes for Focus Blast. Okay. He doesn't kill, obviously. So that kind of sucks. Now our choice to get Earthquake. He goes for Focus Blast. So, I'm going to go into Medicham. As he misses again. I can't go for Fake Out, so I'm just going to go for High Jump Kick. Goes for Bug Buzz, and it's a critical hit. Which sucks. Um, I'm going to go into Heat Trend. I can't believe he's skating again, but he has Focus Blast, so that makes sense. Uh, I am going to go for the Fire Blast. He hits the Focus Blast this time. As I go for Fire Blast and kill the Excel Gore. So, maybe that was an overprediction on my part, but... I didn't know that Excel Gore would have Focus Blast, so... That was me not knowing. So, I don't really know if I can take the blame for that. Well, I guess I can. Uh, Landris comes in. I think that's a pretty switch. Pretty easy switching to Rotom. He goes for Earth Power. I'm immune. I'm not even going to chance it. I'm just going to go for Hydro Pump. If he goes in, you're traveling into it's fine. Actually, do I want to predict that? Well, I've got nothing for him, so I'm just going to go for Hydro Pump. Yeah, that's okay. Still decent damage. I'm gonna go into Heatran here and hopefully I don't die. Leak Seek, okay. Okay. So I think that's a very easy Fire Blast to the. Well, Fire Fang, because I want to get the kill. Wow, that does not kill. And it's got Citrus. Substitute, wow. This is a very interesting Trevenant. As he gets another Citrus Berry Boost. I'm going to go into Mamoswang. Mamoswang is not seeing the lag of day right now. 
It's going to get another Citrus Berry there. Um, I'm going to go for Stealth Rock just to get some hazards on the field. I know it's a little bit late for that, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, free Strike of the Face. Nice, well played. He goes for Giga Drain. I'm going to go into Heatran. I know Heatran's probably actually no, I'll go into Venusaur. <laughs> Calm Mind again. He's just going for Calm Minds. Can I, can I put him to sleep? I don't know if I can put him to sleep. No, I'm he's immune. That's what I thought. That does nothing. He's four times a special attack right now. Oh my god. And we get the poison. Oh, come on! <laughs> this will be an incredible win if I can get it. No, I'm not even going to try. We'll do one more. There was no way I was going to win that one. And I'm not going to use this battle. This team. I'm not going to use this team. It's a little bit of an oldie. So, we'll get, we'll get the usual team. Circuitry, Heatran, Meicham, Togekiss, Langris, and Lapras. <laughs> Kelgio, Togekiss, Mew, Gengar, Skarmory, and Gyarados. Okay. So no fire types, no grass types. Okay. Um, who do I predict the lead? Probably Skarmory. I'm gonna lead her face this. Togekiss. That works. No, I know. It's okay. Flash kind of is doing a lot of damage here. Just realizing that. I mean, I'm choice, but even still. Took him out with a flash cannon, that's kind of weird. Sableye, Kartanga, Hoopa Unbound, Sceptile, Agron, and Rampardos. So you don't see too many of these Pokemon. You don't see an Agron too much more anymore. Uh, not since Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out. Um, you don't see a Rampardos very often, not in OU. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be an interesting game. I'm going to predict the Agron to League. I'm going to League Hephaestus. It's a risky play because he's a ground type, or he's a rock type, I think. So, actually, let me check. Skill rock, yeah. Tokyo sale, awesome. 
I wouldn't want to go to Tokyo. It is Cartana. That's fine with me. Um, I still get the advantage here. I mean, he could go for Secret Sword, so I do have to be aware of that. But I've got nobody to stop that, besides Meditation God, and I don't want Meditation God taking damage right now. Um, I'd say I'm faster, but... Oh god, no I'm not. Um, okay, I'll, I will go into Meditation God then. I think. Right? No, activate the weakness policy, I'm dumb. Okay, Psycho Cut. So no crit on that. Um, now we're going to face this. Leaf blade, good. So we're getting resisted damage right now, which is fine. I'm going to go for flamethrower of the face. Skull, decent damage. Um, I'm going to go into med meditation god. Nice, well played. <laughs> Defense and attack are down. Earthquake to the face. You're gone. Agron <laughs> comes out. Not really too scary this thing. Uh, her face just comes out. I am kind of scared. He goes for heavy slam. Okay, that's fine. Lost some HP. So he's not focus slash or anything, and he's not mega. Goes into Sableye. You're gone. I'm choice, so you're not going to take me out. And Pargos comes out. He's probably going for Earthquake here, so I'm going to go into Landris. Either way, I got the incoming gig off. He goes for Strong Edge. Okay. We'll play. Um, earthquake to the face. You're gone. <laughs> Septal comes out. I go right back into her face. This. Dragon Pulse to the face. That's fine. Uh, I don't think you're going to lift this. Who would you go out into? No one. No one can take this. You wish. You're gone. I'm not even going to question that. Septile comes out. Okay. Um. Now I could be a bitch and going to Poseidon. But with Poseidon's HP so low, I don't really want to. Goes for Dragon Pulse again. You're gone. Agron comes out, flam throw of the face, and you're gone. So, pretty easy game. 5-0. Not bad. I'm going to upload this, because that was an easy bell. Well, not easy, but relatively quick. I took his team apart. That's all that matters. And that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and see you guys in the next video.